Today I'm going to go over a great thing that Kansas has that several other states don't. And this is the Kansas Hunting Atlas. This is walking areas of private land and public lands, state and federal. Now on the back of the, the magazine itself is the full map of Kansas. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. <clears throat> the yellowish dots here are for walk-in hunting areas in the state. So as you can see in the really the western part of the state there's several several walk-in areas. When Kansas first had this there were there were over a million acres enrolled in this but due to people trashing out places and stuff it really has gone down. Now a Kansas State out-of-state license is about is under a hundred dollars. I don't know the exact amount. You can look it up online. So if you want to go pheasant hunt and stuff, and you're in one of the, you know, fairly close, you've got a lot of opportunities here in Kansas. But the way you kind of read this map is, let's say we want to look at area 16. We'll open up our atlas to page 16, and it will show that county up close. And as you can see, that way you can get the mile by mile description of it. You can see exactly where you're, you're going to hunt. Most of them will have a sign up saying that they are a walk-in area. The signs will look like, like this. Okay, now let's kind of look at some of the different, uh, what the different things mean. Uh, the light yellow is a walk-in area from November 1st to January 31st. The darker arrow, or the darker areas are from September 1st to January 1st. So these you could dove hunt in also. You know, if you went ahead and bought your license early, you could dove hunt and then later pheasant hunt. And if you can afford an out-of-state deer tag, uh, which are very expensive for bucks here in Kansas, where the does are maybe $50, I believe, or they were last year. I haven't looked at this year's price. You can come back and, and deer hunt or doe hunt in January. The red with the lines through it, that means it's a shotgun shell only area. Any of the others are open to center fire, so you can also do some predator hunting and that sort of stuff out in these other areas but uh it's a great little deal as i say they had a lot more enrolled before but due to people trashing and up stuff or tearing up stuff that a lot of farmers have dropped it so if you do come up and you do hunt take care of it make it cleaner than when you walked in pick up your shotgun shells and have a good time but this is just for you just a little something for you guys if you want to do some other type of hunting in Kansas and live close by and really want to pheasant hunt or do some hunting that you can't do in your state, you might come down and give Kansas a try. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.